Yo guys, what is going on? Grief HD here, and today I'm back with another career mode experiment video. Well, the first one for FIFA 18. So this one we're going to be taking charge of Huddersfield United, and we're going to be putting all the free agents, which I've already done at this point. I'm going to be putting all the free agents into Huddersfield and seeing how they do in the Premier League. So last time I did this video, um, I actually managed to get about 60,000 views, which is absolutely amazing for a channel this size, I think. And it went down an absolute um, storm, and I, I loved making it, and I love seeing how teams actually get on, and I love making these types of videos. So I probably will be doing more of these throughout FIFA 18. So I have a few more, um, I have a few more ideas about how I could do this series, but yeah. Enough about that, let's move on to the squad. So we have Berg up front who played absolutely amazing for, I think it was Lisbon. Um, I'm probably wrong. Lis yeah, it was Lisbon, I think. Um, was it Lisbon? Was it Lisbon? Oh, it didn't matter. We've got Sol Tangier, we've got Rodriguez, we've got players like that. We've got Axel Witzel, we've got Oscar, who's obviously playing in China at the moment. We've got Joe Ledley. So we've got a pretty good squad at the moment. So we've got pretty much an average BPL squad. Except in the defence. The defence isn't very good at all. But... Um, but we ignore that. We've got Oscar and we've got Berg. So we should be a high scoring kind of season. Um, and we'll see, actually see how we do. But we have Jovino, who's obviously an ex Arsenal player. But we, we'll see how we do in the season anyway. But we'll go into um, our simulation and we'll um, actually sim until um, halfway through the season, I think I did. Just after the Leicester game on the 1st of January. So um, let's see how this went. And we're just simming in now. And the first thing I obviously see, the first thing I look at is a manager rating. And I got 73 manager rating, which isn't too bad. Um, I think I went into the messages for some reason. I don't know why I did that. It, not that it matters, but it looks like a few of our players' contracts are running out. But let's take a look at the league table, what we're all waiting for. First, we're in the round three of the cup against Watford. But we'll soon scoot over to the Premier League. And we are 17th in the Premier League with 21 games played. Three games won, nine games drawn, and ten games lost. So we've only scored 21 in the league and only conceded 27, which is pretty good. Um, there's lots of teams above us that have um, above us that have conceded much more than that. But so I'm not actually um, concerned about any type of the team. I'm just concerned about getting the results at the end of the day. We seem to be drawing a hell of a lot, drawing nine, which is like the third most high in the league, which is a bit weird actually. Um, and we've lost 10, which is a bit awful as well. So we've only got 18 points drawn on points with Southampton. Swansea, Newcastle and Southampton in the relegation zone halfway through. Some play, um, some teams have actually played 21 instead of 22. Um, but I, I, I'm actually thinking we might get mid-table at this point. I was thinking we might get mid-table. But it ended up... It ended up going a bit worse than that. So next time we're going to sim to the end. Actually, no, we're going to look at the top scorers first. Obviously, I forgot about that. But we're going to look at the top scorers. This is for the Emirates FA Cup and then the Carabao Cup. But we're not actually looking at that. We're looking at the Premier League top scorers. And we have Lamar topping it with Gabriel Jesus play, both playing for the different Manchester clubs. But we actually can't see any Huddersfield players on there, which is a bit disappointing. As um, we'll soon go on to look at our squad hub kind of um, squad hub kind of setup thing which is new you can't just go into like um, squad report well squad hub is squad report but you're gonna have to look at the stats separately so um, oh my god that keeps 40 years old Jesus Christ but anyway um, a lot of players have scored one goal Joe Ledley's managed to bag himself one um, Duzdak's managed to get, grab himself three Oscar's got six goals um, I think some of them came in the cup that's why he isn't on the um, that's why he isn't on the actual like um, top scorers list for the Premier League. But also Berg has hit one and Gowlin has hit two in six games. So no, not really any standout goal scorers. Oscar being the highest. And he's a cam with six goals. He's obviously gone at one rating as well. Given the fact that he's only 26 years old. But we've got a few players on loan which I obviously couldn't get rid of in the squad. Um, in the transfer like bit in, when I, before I started the career. But we're going to go straight to the end of the season. Before our game with Arsenal. Um, we've got a pretty hard end of the season with Manchester City and Arsenal there, but we're going to go for our Arsenal game and see how we get on. Here we go. And obviously we've got a 65 manager rating, which isn't too good, meaning we have dropped somewhat in the league. Now we're 19th in the league with no chance of survival in the Premier League. So it always goes a bit badly for me in these ones with the free agents. The free agents just don't seem to cut it. I don't think any of them are fairly... Um, are actually fast enough or anything like that but we've managed to only concede 55 which 
is is quite bad actually 55 but we've managed to score 36 which um that isn't too good as well <laughs> but um we've got 33 points after seven wins and 12 draws but i'm actually hoping i'm hoping that we'll get a result in the last game of the season against arsenal it'll be quite difficult too but arsenal are 11th in the table so i think arsene wenger would have been sacked in this scenario we've got west ham in fifth position we've got chelsea spurs Manchester City, Watford trailing in 7th and we'll be able to see how the league ends up after the Arsenal game. Obviously we've got Newcastle United in last place with 27 points. So the only way Swansea can stay up is if they win and Southampton win by 2 or more and um, they win by 2 or more. I can't, I can't bother to explain it but there's the squad how it ends up on the last game of the season. I think that's a pretty... Um, a pretty um, a strong squad for the end of the season but we're going to check out how many people... Um, have scored and managed to hit the net again. We've got Rene Augusto's hit six. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Vitzel's hit five. And we've got a few players that hit three. And um, I think Oscar's hit ten over this season. Marcus Berg only managed to get one, even though he's the primary striker up front. So I actually went to go look at the, um, the top scorers for the Premier League. And it didn't actually come to my mind that Oscar would have scored a hell of a lot in the Cup. And that's why he didn't appear on the list. But I think we have Gabriel Jesus leading the goal scoring, uh, the goal scoring feat with 19 goals. I think I only score a brief bit of that. Uh, Lukaku's in third, but I didn't see much of that. We haven't got any um, players like that. But I think it's Hazard that's actually leading the leading the goal scoring, which is a bit weird for a left mid. But maybe he's just done exceptionally well this season. We'll go into um, the season. And we'll actually check out the team stats. Actually, I don't think we managed to do this because it just came up with the players, um, the players thing. And I thought he was going to come up with something else. I thought he was going to come up with like the most clean sheets this season and stuff like that. But it's not about other teams. It's about Huddersfield and it's about the free agents, how they get on. So we're going to have a look at the... Um, I think we just go straight into the game against Arsenal. Um, I think we line up with our strongest squad possible. And we actually managed to simulate this. So there's no way of surviving. So we're pretty much playing for pride at this point. Um, but Gil is out. I'm a primary centre-back as well. Don't know whether he's going to be out for this uh, this next game. But there we go. Sim match. And we go in with Villar, Benzar, Halashwo, Gil, Diaz, Witzel, Augusto, Duzdak, Jovinko, Oscar, Berg. And with a few average players on the bench but let's see how we go after the 11th minute i think or the i can't remember 16th minute it was sanchez who managed to get one up against um us but at the end of the game we have had a 2-1 win against arsenal with Javinho Giov back in two so he's obviously got more in that game than he did the whole season which is a bit strange but that is how a team of free agents would get on in the premier league they would actually come uh, 18th in the league, just below that relegation zone by two points. Southampton managed to win, so Swansea couldn't qu uh, couldn't um, survive anyway, but they they lost anyway, so it doesn't matter. So that that's where they become. They become 18th, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did enjoy, and obviously subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.